Everything was fine until I kept having what I thought was Braxton Hicks contractions. And later that night, they started getting closer together. So I called my doctor and he said to go into the hospital. We knew that day that there were issues and stuff going on because they both had to be intubated. Neither one was really breathing on their own and they heard murmurs in their hearts and we found out that they had the PDAs. A PDA stands for patent ductus arteriosus, which means a blood vessel that is normally present when uh, the baby is developing in the womb should go away when they're first born. And in the premature, especially the extreme premature population like Everly and Maverick, uh, it is very common for that vessel not to go away. And when it doesn't go away, uh, it can cause a lot of problems in, in terms of having enough blood flow going in the right directions and not stealing away from blood where it should go. Because we've spent the last couple of years really becoming experts in treating premature infants with device closure for PDAs, this is what allowed us to get these devices for Everly and Maverick. They're the first ones in Northeast Ohio and probably in the region since the FDA approved this device to have these put in. We leave about a millimeter or two millimeter little tiny nick in the groin vessel down in the leg and that's really all that you see after we're done. We're really lucky that we came to this hospital. My OBGYN delivers in another hospital and if we would have went there, they didn't have NICU, and they would have had to be transferred here anyways, and they wouldn't have survived the trip to get here. So I'm just glad that we came here in the first place.